Good morning, this is Pastor Lynn with Goodland United Methodist Church. As we continue our challenge in the book of 1 Samuel, we come to a young man who didn't know fear. David was used to guard his sheep against wolves and bears and lions. This would not be the first time that he had risked his life. But this enemy was skilled in combat, and he was armed. Still, David stepped out onto the field where the bravest of soldiers would not go. His weapons were not a sword and a shield or a helmet. His weapon was five smooth stones and a woven band called a sling for throwing them. In your community, there is probably someone facing a giant challenge. We are not always aware of these people because their fight is not as exciting as the battle between David and Goliath, but it is a bitter and hard fight. For example, I know of one farmer who has lost the use of his legs after an accident. Now he is learning to farm without legs. His family helps him all they can. His uncle even built special lifts to help him reach the seat of his tractor and combine. David had the confidence only because he believed that God was with him. When giant challenges come our way, we can take confidence in the fact that God cares for us and strengthens us. The sling and the stones that Goliath laughed at were indispensable for David, even with all of his faith and courage. What about you? Has there been a time in your life when you faced something that was so insurmountable that you had no idea what direction your life was going to take or what would happen? Our scripture today says, Meanwhile, the Philistine, with his shield bearer in front of him, kept coming closer and closer and closer to David. What was it like for David standing in front of that nine-foot giant on that field? And when he laughed in his face, David didn't say a word. He simply took a look at the stone that was in his hand, and he picked just the right one, and he loaded it into his sling, and he raised it above his head, and he swung it around and around and around, until finally he let go of the end of that strap and that stone went hurling into the air and clocked Goliath in the middle of his forehead, dropping that giant of a man to the ground. David's confidence was in Jesus Christ. It was in God. It was in the power of the Holy Spirit. When the giant fell, He knew that God had won the victory through him. When we face those giants in our everyday lives, we know that God can conquer all. This is Pastor Lynn. Have a good day.